Okay, we got the doors painted and the drawers painted, and that's what she looks like now. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot better with red drawers. Red doors than, than white ones. So the next thing I'm going to do, honey, baby wants a little shelf down here. And uh, I done fashioned her up one. And it, it, it looks like this here. Goes right up. Goes right flush with this part. And it's right even with the bottom of that door. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to paint this red. And I'm going to let that get dry while we're in church. And then later I'm going to come back and I'm going to take some of those black and white tiles and I'm going to tile that baby. And that way she'll have a little place over there on the edge to stack cookie racks and stuff. And she also wants another shelf right here. And I'll, uh, I'll work on that too. So there's that. And there's that. And there is that with the top done and everything. And you can see from this angle when I get the... Uh, when I get the black and white tiles on this shelf and this shelf, how it will actually blend in pretty good with the rest of that. I may even put a little piece of oak strip on the end of that just to make it look right. Okay, here's my other shelf put in place. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about putting black and white tile on that, but then I got thinking a piece of this uh, floor, leftover floor on there would be good too because it's, well, it's, we could put a piece of white in there to be rubberized and things you throw on there would be, uh, I don't know, it just seemed like kind of appropriate for a piece of shelf material. You could always pull it out and dust it off and throw it back in there if you wanted to. I think I'll cut a piece and try it and see how it looks on that. Later on I'll paint this so that this little part just showing in the front would be red. Let's see how that goes. Okay, here's what I came up with on that shelf. Um, I was originally going to use some of these tiles and put on that shelf, but then I thought, well, that floor stuff would work better. So I put a piece on there and I thought, yeah, it's kind of okay. But then what I did was uh, I just cut it into squares and put the squares in there. And I think, oh yeah, that's the best right there. So I like that. I'm going to pull my board out. I'm going to paint my board red right here so the part that shows is, will be red like the cabinet. And then I'll put that one together like that. And I'll cut some for that bottom piece the same way. And uh, Oh, it just kind of keeps the theme going. You don't see that a lot, but when you do see it, you'll think, oh yeah, that, that even that even works. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say that the uh, coat cabinet is officially done. Done. All done. And I'll show you the little shelves I put in on either side. Oh, ain't that honking. Hard to match how anybody could not... <laughs> Could not like that. I like it. I'm just standing here looking at it going, wow, it looks honking. Yeah, it does. Okay then. Well, that frees me up to do something else. I have, seems like I've been working on this kitchen and on this particular piece right here for quite some time. So now it's good that it's done. I can move on to something else. Mmm, man. I like it. I like it.